Now, the other thing is I said I would come back to the YAML and look at some other things you can do. So just to finish off within the HTML options, so we set self-contained to be true, but a couple of other quite cool things you can do. First of all, we can add a table of contents. So if we go to a new line and start typing TOC, that's the code for table of contents, and we set that to true. Then when we render the document, it generates a table of contents based on um, our headings. Looking at it uh, within the web browser, you can see now there's a table of contents. So as a level one heading, we can click on band members, we can click on logo. So we can skip around the document by using the table of contents. So that's pretty neat. Um, the other thing you can do is to um, adjust whether uh, you allow our code to put warnings uh, within the document so and, and messages. So all this sort of gubbins down here is a, a kind of a message from our studio and sometimes in your documents you don't really want them. It keeps it neater if you don't have them. So if we come out of the, the format part of the YAML, so I'm going to hit return and then backspace to, uh, to kind of get to the far left edge. And I'm going to type knit R with a colon. So I'm now going to put in some options for knit R, which is the, the thing that renders the document. So I'm going to hit return and tab and I'm typing opts and these are the options for knitting and the options for code chunks. So I want the options for code chunks and then under that I'm going to set warning to false and message to false and this will hide um, any messages and warnings from R when we render. So render the document again. We don't have any of the uh, unpleasant warnings under this uh, code chunk. We just have the code, the messages and the warnings have been suppressed in the rendered document. Finally, you can set, uh, so there's, yeah, there's a de default format or a default theme, but you can set other themes. So up again within the HTML section, uh, if I hit return and type theme, this allows us to set the theme. And uh, if you go to the Quarto website, you can find the list of themes. Um, but uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the theme, uh, Cosmo. There you go, Cosmo is a different theme. So if we render under the Cosmo theme, uh, we get a slightly different looking uh, document. There are other themes you can use as well. Uh, so let's try United. So United again, it's used a different font and it's got different uh, colors for hyperlinks. Uh, let's try darkly. There you go, that's a dark themed document. So you can change the theme of the document by adjusting the YAML.